This week at the Wellington, we're staying on the subject of brains and taking a closer look at neurosurgery. Three interesting facts I like to share with my patients are Number one, the brain has no pain receptors and doesn't experience pain when cut into. This is why we can do awake brain surgery. Number two, it is possible to remove large parts of the brain without causing the patient any obvious problems. This is because the brain has what we call plasticity, where some areas are able to take over the function of those that have been removed or damaged. And finally, we have what is known as a blood-brain barrier. A barrier the brain has evolved to keep out major toxins, but this means we mostly can't use chemotherapy against brain tumours because the blood-brain barrier keeps them out. I've been a consultant neurosurgeon for nearly 40 years, but the brain still fascinates me. In that time, there has been a lot of change in the specialty, mainly driven by the technology which supports me and my team. For example, image guidance, which is almost like a sat-nav for surgeons. The days of the independent practitioner are over. We now all work together as a team for the safest and best outcomes for the patient.